sharpening my tools and helping me out and just pouring into me and being the great teammate that they are. It was honestly just a blessing to be here. You always dream of this thing. Does it turn out like the dream as a kid? Uh, yeah, but like all, all I can say is like my guys, the whole line held up all night. Like they did their part. Everybody just did their job. And you know, it just so happened that I ended up uh, having the game that I did. But we, a lot of guys, you know, definitely did their part. Ryan, talk about the first route, the route, the first touchdown. What was the route? Uh, just a, a simple go ball, <laughs> even leaving. Yeah, so, you know, I just went straight down the sideline, and Jay Mill gave me a perfect ball. I, I kept it in stride, and, you know, got to celebrate with, with my guys for my first touchdown. And the second one? Uh, just a, a regular dig route. Uh, that once again, he put it in a perfect place. The O-line held up perfectly. Uh, everybody just did their job to be able to play. When you see that ball in the air, that first one, you have to know it's a touchdown. What's going through your mind when you when you, when you grab it? Do you kind of know you have to kind of collect yourself? Or what's going through your mind with that one? Uh, just run fast and, uh, you know, put some points on the board for my guy. Is there anything that surprised you playing at the collegiate level when you walked into Bryant today? He said, can you Is there anything that surprised you tonight? Uh, just seeing, you know, those 100,000, you know, just supporting us with everything they had, all the air in their lungs, you know, it was really just exciting for me. You see the, or you feel the defender let go of your ankle on that second touchdown, and you see the end zone wide open. What is your thought process, and what did it mean to have two touchdowns tonight? Uh, just, like like I said, you know, just, it was just a matter of, you know, doing what I needed to do for the team, uh, expanding the lead. So it was just the excitement of, you know, adding some more points for my guys. Can you describe the connection between you and Milrow? Uh, uh, definitely. I mean, four plus two does equal six. So <laughs> that's probably the best thing I can say about it. But uh, he always just puts it in the perfect place, and I just got to do my job. How crazy has it been handling the hype since you've gotten on campus? Um, you know, just with the great guys around me. Like I said, all the older guys, they pour into me every day. So I, I don't even look into it, honestly. Uh, just attack every day and go go about it normal. What's been the craziest thing though that's happened to you maybe even off the field just like has there any been anything that's kind of stood out? Uh, probably just being in class and you know people asking those pictures like in the middle of class trying not to uh, interrupt the professor. Uh, do you miss high school at all? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't miss KJ at all? I love KJ but no. <laughs> What's it been like playing under the board? Uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing. You know, we have a very explosive offense. I think it was 300 on the ground and in the air, so it was very explosive. We got a lot of a lot of my uh, guys in my class in the game. Everybody pretty much had an opportunity to do something with the ball. So, I mean, that just that just shows you we we for a good one this season. Ron, who are those wide receivers, those veterans that have kind of took you under their wing? Uh, definitely Jeremy Bernard and Kendrick Law. Uh, those, they, they definitely do a very good job. And not to mention uh, Kobe Prentice, uh, E-Man, Emmanuel Henderson, all the, guys, all the older guys that's been here. Uh, more than two years, they pour everything they have in into it. Did you have any inkling, I mean, that you could make those plays today, first college game? I mean, you don't know how long it's going to take you. I'm going to be honest, it was just a matter of the ball in the air, and it's coming to me, so I'm going to just do, do exactly what I uh, practice and make a play. Is there pressure now to score a touchdown every time you catch a ball? I don't think so. You know, I'm just I'm just playing ball. I was just doing exactly what my what my guys need to do. How was Coach Shepard able to help you prepare for this game and prepare this wide receiver room? Uh, just focusing on the little stuff, you know, because a lot of our guys, I mean, we, we produce like we get four and five stars, so they're automatically pretty good. So he he definitely hones in on the little stuff like blocking downfield and getting to that the the exact depth, so you and the quarterback have that time, and so just honing honing in on the on the little things. After scoring 63 points in the first week, how can this offense get get better? Uh, just like I said, continuing to do the little things uh, because I, I do believe the only uh, team that's stopping us is ourselves. You know, you know, that's that's what I believe.
How much have your coaches shown you what Washington's wide receivers did last year, whether it was Rome or any of those guys? What have your coaches shown you about Washington's wide receivers last year? I mean, we, we watched a lot of a uh, lot of what they did last year. I mean, the numbers that they put up, you can't ignore it. Even last year when I was in high school, you know, just paying attention to, to the guys like J-Mac, Rome, uh, Jay Polk, all those guys. We got to pay attention to it because, you know, that's what we want to do too. And we have a lot of old guys, you know, that's, that want to do that so they can, you know, go to the next level. But you watched the semifinal game. I mean, you saw their offense in the semifinal game. Yeah, I did. Does that give you an inkling of what that excites you a little bit, even though you didn't know you were playing for them? Uh, definitely. I, did, I didn't know. I was actually sitting with my high school coach watching the game when it happened. So we were definitely excited. Do you have any sort of competition with some of the other freshman wide receivers who had some good days today as well? Uh, I wouldn't say competition. We all hold each other to a high standard, so we definitely talk a little smack. Like if we miss a block, we definitely gonna, that's definitely going to be talking about it, even before we get to the film room. So we definitely, like me, Caleb Bolton, Rico, pretty much all the freshmen, Mari, Bubba, all of us, you know, we, we all uh, hold each other to a very high standard. What do you think about the pressure, pressure the expectations? So many people talk about you preseason, but how do you feel about playing under those expectations? Uh, to, I, like, it, I really don't even think about them, to be honest. Like, you know, um, I just focus on what's ahead of me, keep my feet, uh, keep my feet where they are, and just focus on what's in front of me. Did you find out you were gonna start? And what was going through your head when, when you actually found out that moment? Uh, I, when it when it was happening, I, I didn't know until the first play. He was like, "Run!" I was like, and then I ran out there. And, you know, it was, it was a blessing. Um, but Ryan, now that you've got your feet wet, um, you're 17, man. Uh, does it feel like you're 17? Like, honestly, you, you just got off the field um, playing with some grown men just on both sides. Like, But you couldn't tell the difference that you that you were 17. So can you just explain how that feels? Um, I never really, even, you know, when I was younger, I always played up. So it was never a matter of, like, age. I, I try not to like, use the age as an excuse. Because if I would have got manhandled out there, you know, I, I, I still wouldn't want to be an excuse, so I, I don't uh, you know, focus on that. I just focus on playing ball because at the end of the day, it's, at the end of the day, it's football. How do you model your game? Do you model it after any of the former Alabama wide receivers, some of those greats? Uh, definitely. I mean, my, my Hall of Fame comparison that I get every time is Smitty, so, uh, you know, just the performance he had his senior year. Uh, you know, that definitely, you know, the yards and all that, you know, it's, it's, it's great to just watch, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of him, and I, I definitely uh, look into him, watch his game, and try to mimic some of his stuff. Have you talked to him? Have you talked to him? Do you know him at all? Yeah, I've talked to him a couple times, you know, just, uh, he said his blessings, you know, over here. Ryan, describe the piece, the necklace. He said my piece? Yeah. Uh, my raw piece, Ryan Alexander Williams. Yeah. Can you, is there any, I mean, how do you stay grounded? Now that not every game is going to be like this. Um, I, I, I definitely have a big supporting cast, like my my home base, uh, and then I know my teammates. They're gonna hold me to a standard. And to be honest, I'm not even focused on what I just did. You know, I, it's a blessing. But at the end of the day, we got more games ahead of us, and you know, I gotta focus on next week. How's Jalen's feet ball? Best in the game, baby. Yeah. Last two. How have you seen him progress during your time in the summer and uh, fall camp and this game? Uh, I mean, he gets better every day. You know, just from a matter of like, whenever he wakes up early in the morning, he's the first one at the facility. So, I mean, he's constantly getting better. So, every day you literally see him get better. Is there any talk uh, between you and Jalen leading up to that first touchdown where you're saying, I can beat this guy? I'm going to be honest. Like, I mean, like earlier in the week, you know, of course we talked, but it, it wasn't like we were running on the field and we were like, okay, this is the one. It was actually, uh, it, it was, there was no talk behind it. It didn't happen. So, you know, I guess it's the fourth two connections. All right, one more. What's the first Heisman Trophy winner you remember watching? The first one that I remember watching, to be honest, probably is Johnny Manziel. But my favorite, Smitty, of course. But, but now it's a new way. Tune in Monday. Thank you, Ryan.